mostly developers here, but, and I don't even have a good graphic for it. But uh, I found it useful when we have moved sort of ad hoc new data into our wiki. One of the things we have just done is uh, basically used Excel functions to track it over into another column and copied that whole column as a media wiki markup. So it's, it's a cheap, hacky kind of quick way, relatively low tech mostly. The front end users can do it. You need no extra access. You don't need to do any development to take larger tables of Excel information and not just generate a table on your wiki in a page, but generate a whole bunch of pages. So I don't know if this is really of interest to this group because you're all, I think almost all developers here or in charge of developers. But if anybody has an interest, like if, they, if you think this might be useful, maybe you can just contact me on the, the, through, through the piece of paper that Cindy handed out to everyone. So the other thing is, and I'm just gonna quickly see if I can make this happen here. The other thing I was just going to mention is some, some different use case than how uh, maybe some other places have used it. So one small little thing we did with the structured data that I thought was really kind of neat when I first uh, heard about it is just how we, how we look at our vacations. So if I were to go to my web page right, my, my page on here right now, um, every user has just this little box in it if you can click in here, it uses page forms. It's really quite, quite simple in ways. Just I thought it was an interesting use case for something that's set up really quickly. Uh, you can enter your, your coming and leaving date, and of course, because it all goes into semantic, you can go back out and uh, have a vacation list that automatically leaves out anybody who has already returned and only gives you who's currently away or who's going to be away in the next little while, and it's updated in one place. You can have a list for it. The other thing... Um, I really thought it was interesting to hear about common streams from Cindy is because it made me realize that people do use the discussion part of how to actually make a website happen in, in different ways. Uh, so you, you came up with a comment stream which drags the data right onto the, uh, that drags the discussion right onto the page, but it still sep separates it from the content. And for anyone I've talked to here over the last few days, nobody seems to deal with um, incomplete information on their wiki the way that we do. And I thought that was interesting. Uh, so we try to use our wiki as a communication tool more than a documentation tool maybe from the beginning. And uh, one of the things that we've, we've started early was um, to put discussions about stuff right into the middle of an article. So as you can see at the top, we don't actually have discussion pages. We get rid of them as well. And uh, instead, whenever somebody has a question, has concerns about some of the content, so, so most of our wiki, maybe I should step, step back, is it's, it's an instruction wiki for how to use uh, specific, uh, to support collectors for a scientific uh, database. We're collecting data about all of our critical care and medicine patients in the, in the city. And they need to know how to enter boundary cases mostly. Most of it is straightforward, but some of it is not. So this would be one example of the blinking head there, which is intentionally awful and tacky looking because the idea was I want these discussions to finish, and then I want the data to be resolved, and I want the discussion to be deleted. But in the meantime, wherever there is incomplete data on a wiki, we wanted it to be explicit. So I mean, this is the idea between uh, known unknowns, unknown knowns, and like the whole knowledge management side of it. So on our wiki, it's, it's inherent to the documentation where there are um, concerns or where the, where the documentation is not complete. So I, I just wanted to bring that forward because it seemed so different from how any of you that I've talked to use, use their wiki. So we do that as well. Okay. Uh, just because again, we're dealing with science. Right? And so we do, we do the middle of the page. The only downside that we, we've found is that it's not captured. Ah, so our, this blinking head uh, is generated by a template, and the template also sticks into a questions category. So I can go right now, uh, because it does this, I can go to the questions category at the bottom of the page, and uh, it'll give you any article that has questions. So one of the ideas was that once a week or so we would meet and actually discuss these questions. And one of the weird things that has happened, which in retrospect is obvious, is uh, the questions that remain are the hard questions, the ones where we couldn't easily find an answer because the easy questions get discussed on there and they get resolved and they never get to a point of meeting about it. Yeah, so but you're saying they get resolved, 
Yes. And therefore, it wouldn't be captioned. That there used to be a question? Yeah, that there used to be a question. There used okay. to be a question about it. So, for example, if we, if we were discussing what's the best uh, uh, drive mechanism for a bicycle, right? And we decided on chain, but at some point somebody had said belt. Right. right. Like it wouldn't be captured that there was an idea for a belt drive mechanism on a bicycle. That's an interesting right? point. The, the questions we have are mostly such that we would not care to capture that, or rather because it's a manual process to get rid of the discussion. Usually, like the, the, the encouraged idea is you, you finish the discussion and then you change the rest of the article so that this question would never have happened. Like exactly. leave no trace in a way, right? Yeah. So whereas your discussion of what is the best mechanism for a bicycle drive would be, could theoretically result in some gardening at the time that the comment gets removed that also states as a, an alternative might have been a belt drive. Yeah, but you would require manual. So there, like I said, yeah. the discussion isn't captured. So the, no, the discussion itself does not capture. That's captured. the downside, I guess, to do it. We do the exact same way, but we haven't found a way to do it in the article. So articles get quite long, right? And so, and we want to comment on the specific section of yeah. that. So like the comments wouldn't yeah. work very well because we want to comment on that section. But then it's not, and then we resolve it, and we have to resolve it because we need to present it to people who are paying us to resolve it. However, the, the idea behind it still needs, still needs to be captured, especially if you're going back and reviewing it later on. So for example, like for us, another national lab might come in and look at that technology and go, oh, you guys didn't even think about belt drive. And it's like, no, 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 we did. We did, it's in there. Right, but it's not, it, it wasn't decided upon on our finished product because of these things, which is a discussion that we had. And so it's use all your arguments and you delete this discussion. You, 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 you use you use all pros and cons. Yeah. Yes. So a year later, you ask yourself, why, why didn't we think about it? But you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's not, so it's not captured, but we need to do it in the article section, right? So I mean, the, I, I can think of two things one could do. One is we could change comment streams so that you can have them various different places, which is interesting. The other, Mark's got another suggestion. Um, or, or you could have your sections be pages, and then you know, so anything that you think somebody might want to comment on. But that's a lot clunkier than being able to just And, and, and it's difficult to generate reports, clean reports, that, that a sponsor would want to see. Yeah, um, it's a possibility, but again, that that leads to more manual stuff, right? Which is user training, which I don't want to do. You, you could you could create a JavaScript gadget, you know, just to add a button there, hard type this, so it would automatically compute it. Over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, another thing you could do is and. Uh, one of the things I've played with just over the last few days is. Um, a, X, uh, is collapsing sections. Yeah. So, I mean, you could actually leave it right in there and just sort of make it one of these things where the casual reader will not see it and someone who actually wants to know more can, can explode the section. And if it's, if it's encapsulated in a template, it wouldn't really be all that awkward. Yeah, I, I don't want people to see certain sections. <laughs> you want them to be visible, but you don't want to see them. <laughs> Yeah. Not have some of those discussions in there. Like it's, yeah. It's so you still have to make a choice somewhere. <laughs> it involves some manual thing. Yeah. You just can't get around that. No, I understand that. But I think it was interesting to hear that you guys at least do something similar and that you, you have actually dragged the discussion to the forefront rather than having it on a different page. Anyway.